In this video, I'm going to review the Oveja Negra Chuck Bucket. Sort of a bigger, chunkier upgrade to your standard stem bag. Find out what I like and dislike about it in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you love to ride bikes but don't race and are into the supple life, 650 B bikes, gravel bikes, fly fishing while you go bike touring, then you have found your people consider subscribing. So a couple months ago when we were all set to ride Dirty Kansas, I had my gear dialed, but I made a 11th hour purchase and it was this bag, the Ovea Negra Chuck Bucket. And I did that because of one feature in particular, but I'll get to that a little bit later in the video. First, a quick overview. So the Ovea Negra Chuck Bucket works just like any stem bag out there on the market. It connects to your bike in three points, one strap on the handlebar, one around your stem, and a longer strap that goes around the fork crown of your bicycle. The Chuck Bucket has a ambidextrous design, so this means that you can mount it both on the left side or the right side of your handlebar. The top is a simple drawstring closure that you can operate with one hand, or at least some people can operate with one hand. For me, it's still a two-handed procedure. And on the inside, it's got a nice lime green contrasting interior so you won't lose those small things uh, inside. At the bottom, there's also a drain hole. So should it rain or should your bottle leak or whatever you have in here, it's not gonna fill up, it'll drain out the bottom. So stem bags aren't really new. So what makes this one uh, unique in particular? First big thing, and literally I mean big, is that it's a wide volume stem bag. So it's designed uh, around the 40 ounce clean canteen or the one liter Nalgene bottle. So if you drink thirsty, there is room for your beverages, my friends. For me in particular, the re one of the reasons I purchased this was actually because it was large enough to put a GoPro and mic on there, as well as uh, some other smaller compact cameras. So if you've got something like the Canon G7X or Canon G5X and want it quickly accessible without opening up another bag, you can shove it into uh, the stem bag. But for me, probably the biggest and most important feature, the single feature that made me buy this at the 11th hour, the day before Dirty Kanza, was this exterior Velcro pouch. I know it doesn't look like anything special. First off, it is really big and deep. You can stick taller things in there uh, fairly securely so an entire Laura bar will fit inside. And plus it's got, I think, some of the toughest, uh, tackiest Velcro in the business right here. And I really love this feature. Uh, during training, I was using the Revelate uh, feed bag, which has an external mesh pocket, very similar design. But on, uh, the, on the Revelate bag, the mesh was a little bit shorter and the Velcro not as tacky. And over time, it really stretched out. So I'd put my nutrition in there and when I'd hit a bump, there were more than a few times that the, those bars would just go flying out of the bag. But not so with the Ovea Negra Chuck Bucket. You can stick bars in here, batteries in here, whatever you want. And uh, between the taller mesh pocket and the really tacky Velcro, nothing is gonna be flying out of this pocket. So in terms of downsize, there really isn't a whole lot. It is a little bit on the pricier side. A single bag costs about $50, but it's pretty versatile. You can move it from bike to bike, use it to carry not only water, but even small electronics. I do wish like every stem bag out there, uh, that they would reconsider the fork crown strap to using something with elastic, like an elastic bungee system. Since this strap doesn't function as a load bearing weight on any stem bag and its real purpose is just to stabilize a bag, I think an elastic strap of some sort that has constant tension will keep the bag from swaying. And I think it would be ultimately a lot neater than having a bunch of webbing uh, flopping around your front wheel. So that's it for this review. If you have any questions about the Ovea Negra uh, chuck bucket, leave those in the comments below. And once again, if you appreciated this independent bike review, consider supporting the channel Channel financially. That's how I keep the lights on. That's how I have a budget to buy bags and accessories to review. And until next time, keep the supple side down.